so in this video i'm not just going to try the chrome edge flex but actually install it on my hard drive so let's get started i'm going to explain all the procedures again uh, we'll need to go to the chrome web extension store so this is extension store and in the search bar we need to type chromebook recovery utility it's an official extension from the google that we're going to need to create the the bootable pen drive for our the chrome os so add it to the, your browser and make sure you are on the chrome browser because many users commented that on other chromium based browsers it was creating issues so you will get this kind of interface and in the drop down we need to select our model as chrome os flex and in the product just the one option that we have available and then continue and then we need to select our pen drive now we will hit continue and the process will start it will first download the the image and it's going to take a long time i'm just fast forwarding but it will do all kinds of verifications and uh, checks and then we need to boot into the bios of our device you can check your device um, the boot key from the image so once in the bios menu we need to select the boot device options the interface may be different for your and then we will select the pen drive and uh, you will see this chrome os logo now we need to set up the device so we need to choose our language and all that usual stuff now in this screen instead of try it out we're going to install the cloud ready 2.0 or chrome os flex so hit on that and then install it and is giving us a warning that all the data on the hard drive will be formatted so not just the c drive alone but the whole hard drive along with your windows and everything so after you click continue this will uh, like uh, take a lot of time to install the os on your system and then it will give you this uh, countdown and then the device will shut down and we need to turn it on manually and then you will see the chrome os logo again and uh, the setup process will start up again so we need to set it up uh, with everything with our google account and uh, language and everything uh, google assistant so i'm just going to fast forward through all of that and finally we are in the chrome os and it has started from where i left off about a week ago so that's pretty good to hear so what i'm going to do is use it for a while like a couple of days and then i'm going to come up with a review so it's been few days since i've been using this uh, chrome os flex on my device and you can see the interface is a little bit different now it's more like the windows because you do not see the app drawer from the bottom if i open the settings you can see it is in dark mode and by default it is not in dark mode and you also get a toggle to turn on or turn off the dark mode so this is all been possible because of the chrome flags that i've enabled so these four flags is what i've used and enabled them you can pause and read and you can also enable all of these so you can have this desktop like layout and this is much better than the app drawer because using a mouse to drag open the app drawer and close it it's a little bit difficult but this is you can just tap on your windows start key and uh, you can access your like access the apps easily and uh, you have app like shown the all the usual uh, settings the wi-fi and everything is working for me pretty fine the both the dual band the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz it's working pretty fine and i've just the display by default for my device is a little bit uh, smaller so i've increased this size and the battery life is pretty average i'm getting the same because my laptop is a pretty old one 
so i cannot comment on the battery life i've tried using it unplugged and i was giving like i was getting similar battery backup with uh, very comparable to what i was getting on the windows i've also enabled the linux uh, the subsystem and uh, these are the apps that i've installed but the thing is that none of the apps are working for me and even the like uh, vlc was working but suddenly it has stopped like when i was installing the linux from the developer options and i've created a 99 gb partition for it and i don't know what happened multiple times it restarted and it was not working and now i'm getting this error for the linux terminal so i do not know if it's just for my device or it's happening to everyone but it was working but suddenly it is not i've tried to run a couple of commands and i think the last option is for me to just power wash like reset the device and then re-enable the linux and i've not done that yet but uh, so i think it's it can also be because of the developer edition of uh, like still unstable maybe because of that so i do not know but it's not working for me so i just uh, mentioned that the file manager of the chrome os is really good it is fully functional and you have all the basic file managing options and uh, you can uh, see the you can share you can create an smb network so if you want to remotely share files you can do that as well so nice to see that option we can change into grid mode and list view so if i connect my device like a phone or smart or uh, tablet it will recognize it and you can access all your files and you can just transfer files and move files back and forth so that's also pretty good you need to set your phone into the file transfer mode and uh, i also tried to set the device in the usb tethering mode so the usb tethering is also working so if i show you from my quick toggles that uh, you can see it says ethernet so it's now using the internet from my smartphone i can turn off the wi-fi and my device will still work if i open a new tab it is still working the internet so if you want if you want to use ethernet you can use that uh, from your phone or a normal broadband check out my website shakeuptech.com Uh, I'll post the detailed articles of all the videos that I made for links and stuff you can go there and uh, with Google Docs so it has all the alternative for for the Mac MS Word you can have the um, Google Docs for uh, the Excel you can use the and uh, the Google Sheets and finally for the PowerPoint and uh, you can use the slides so it makes it really good and uh, for your all your office work productivity work you can easily access them and all of these works are saved online on your google drive so you can pick up where you left off you do not need to worry about saving it every time so that is a really plus advantage of using the google uh, office system and you have all these apps like youtube music youtube in uh, like a web app there is not opening in the browser it is using the browser but it is acting as a separate app and uh, this web apps you have for youtube youtube music and, uh, and you can also like uh, um attach them to one side of the screen and use it in a multi window format so this is very smooth and uh, works without any hiccups so for multitasking also is pretty good and of course we do not see any play store so you can use the chrome web store to download the like a hundreds and millions of uh, chrome extensions and i already have a video about uh, some good extensions that you can use so in the chrome browser um, i cannot switch users so i was uh, i am currently logged in uh, with uh, multiple google account if i can show you it's not showing here it usually does so if you are logged in with another account but i am logged in with uh, two accounts here so i wanted to switch between them and uh, i cannot access the bookmarks and the passwords of the other google account here it shows that i have two accounts but i don't know how 
like how to access the passwords and i can search using the second account but it will not show me my uh, like all the saved information from the other account and i could easily do that with chrome browser on the windows but on this one i cannot do that and we do not get any play store support and uh, even the linux support that i was hoping to use uh, to install a lot of multiple apps is not working the way it should so my last resort is to maybe power wash it i even tried to delete it but it was not even working i don't know what the issue is i have installed it and my entire hard drive is being now used by chrome flex so it's maybe because it's an unstable version or maybe just because it's on my device you can access the google assistant in the same start menu option and uh, it's very easy to use it and it uh, works very good and it's one of the key features of the chrome os and uh, we have the option to share files using the nearby share if you want to share files between your smartphone and the Uh, laptop you can easily do that so let me show you an example so if you just click on this share icon and then select nearby share and on your phone you need to accept the request and once you do your device will show up in the scan and then you can easily just transfer the files the performance of the chrome os flex is really good and switching tasks and opening multiple windows is also pretty smooth and i have seen no hiccups and lags and i have even noticed the boot time for my device has decreased so it boots up really fast and this new way of using the start menu as the app drawer has made a lot like a difference on how i use this previously using this uh, Uh, app drawer was difficult but now it has made it a lot easy so we know that it does not have the google play store support but many of you are asking if it supports like side loading apk i have downloaded the whatsapp apk and uh, if i double click on it you can see it says that it, this type of file is not supported so you cannot even side load apk so no android support no google play store for now and i think the lack of the android and google play support makes the chrome os flex even lighter than the normal chrome os so if you have a old pc laptop lying around you can definitely install it this official version and uh, just start using it again you do not have to throw it away you can also present to it to someone so that way it is uh, really good and you can definitely try it out so i think that was it for this chrome os flex review Um, I'll make uh, further updates if I see something, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.